Hello everyone and this is my next project to convert a petrol motorcycle to an electric. The video will be as short and informative as possible. Start the engine and enjoy the last time the aromas and noise of internal combustion engine. The only thing that I will leave from the internal combustion engine system and will use in the future for conversion is electric wiring. All other parts will be sold out and instead of this noisy and smelly engine there will be a 5 kW electric motor from Golden Motor. Since the engine has a rated frequency of 5000 revolutions, a reduction gear was made on poly V-bell drives. The reduction gear with the motor is securely fixed on the motor frame, for which the native mounts of the petrol engine were used. The frame and reduction gear were painted. The battery is assembled from packages that already come in holders that are convenient for assembly. Internal resistance corresponds to the technical characteristics of a new serviceable battery. Connected BMS for the test according to the following scheme. Battery cells are connected by self-made copper bars. Convenient handles were also made for transporting the battery. If necessary, you can quickly remove the battery from motorcycle. made rubber fasteners for fixing the battery. The electrical wiring was completely redone. Some of the unused connectors were removed. I also drew a wiring diagram that we will analyze a little later. A set of fuses for the onboard circuit and the control and power supply circuit of the controller. The controller took the place of the radiator where it will be effectively cooled by airflow while driving. Controller wiring diagram. DC DC converter, headlights relays, and turn signal relay. Instead of chinus throttle, I used a speed change unit convenient for mounting on the frame. A warning siren sounds, which means that the Russian invaders are again launching a rocket at our cities. They want to enslave Ukraine and take away our freedom. Russia has been taking away our territories since 2014 and throwing them into poverty. But thanks to our armed forces and many countries and people of over the world who support us, we can resist the invaders. Thank you so much for your support.
instead of charging socket I used an extension cable hidden under the tank cap. It's much more convenient in my opinion. Charging mode activated. I bought a dashboard that displayed the main voltage, mileage, indication of turning on the main light and turn signal. And which is important, correctly display the battery charge. Let's take a look at how the turn signal circuit works. Power through the fuse is supplied to the turn signal relay. When the switch is turned to the left position, power is supplied to the LEDs and dashboard. Similarly, the circuit works when the switch is turned to the right position. The headlight is excellent and now we will analyze the connection diagram. The main headlight switch, left light switch controller, low high beam switch, the button for blinking the high beam, the signal button where you can see what goes to another sheet of the circuit. The LED is a backlight of the light switch controller. Now I will show you how the current flows when the main light switch is turned on. It remains to configure the controller. The connection is made via a USB cable. In the program there are many settings that I have to figure out to achieve maximum system operation parameters. Now you can see how many revolutions the rear wheel makes relative to the revolution of the engine shaft. For one revolution of the wheel, the motor shaft makes five revolutions. It is time for the first trip to the racetrack and in the next video I will tell you about acceleration, maximum speed and range on the single charge. I hope the video was useful and if you want to support the channel and speed up the process of buying a new motorcycle for the next conversion, you can support the channel with donation. Details in the description. And here is the next contender for the conversion.